Nithinandam everyone, welcome back to the Kundalini Yogini. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to do so to follow my journey of living enlightenment and seeking spiritual path in India as I living, I'm living here with my guru Paramahamsa Nityananda in India. So today I'm going to talk about um, probably one of the most asked questions we all have, which is what is death? Why does it exist? And kind of going into the details of what death is, the understandings of death in Sanatana Hindu Dharma, in Hinduism, and the spiritual truths which my guru has um, shared with me and made me learn experientially through understanding the process of life and death. So this is one of my favorite topics. I'm very excited to finally make a video about this. The reason why I'm finally making this video um, because uh, I've been under a lot of contemplation on this subject the last few days because my grandmother actually just passed away um, it was quite sudden and it's thrown me into so much of a profound experience and understandings of the process of death and I've been the last few days uncovering a lot of uh, understandings inside of my inner space about it and seeing really experiencing what all it means and why death is actually extremely beautiful um, surely can be a very painful process for us um, as we resist that letting go that change but why it's such a beautiful process and when we have the correct understanding when we have the right powerful cognitions about life and death and their meaning even death cannot take hold of us even death does not have power over us and that is the understanding of death in Hinduism that death itself can become our servant because when we're having the right understanding we can face death head-on without having any fear toward it understanding that is just a, a beautiful gift Swamiji actually says um, in one of my favorite all-time favorite books living enlightenment which has guided me so much on my spiritual path um, he shared that death death is not just uh, you know some painful happening actually death uh, and he says death is a is the ultimate gift from God it's the ultimate choice um, by your own being to take a new body because the body that you have is no longer useful in your in your evolution we just death and um, birth and death is a very cosmic very auspicious process not not something that ever happens by accident um, or even by you know our own accord is that our higher self that source that creative energy what we call Mahasadashiva is in charge of it all it's a cosmic play as soon as we've gone to our very peak potential in this body we decide to take a new one um, it's a very beautiful understanding and I just wanted to dive a little bit into the really fascinating details I've learned about the death process and um, specifically reincarnation and rebirth and why that cognition is so important. See, when we're, when we're taught that we only have one life, when this is the only body we're going to take, that understanding limits us extremely, not only in this body, but when we move on. It actually stops us from transitioning to the next life because we experience what we believe, right? This is one of the most fundamental spiritual truths in all different walks of faith, that we are the creators of our reality. We experience what we believe when someone believes that there is only a heaven or a hell and there's nowhere else to go they will experience that surely that will be their reality for quite some time until the cosmic process takes over but they will experience that as reality because they believed it they will create it and Swamiji in an Akashic reading he did many years ago I was listening to one YouTube video I'll put the links below extremely fascinating I would urge you to hear it directly from him not just from me in this video um, but there are two videos he made on a direct channeling of the Akashic records which are the cosmic records that means the, co the, the cosmic law the cosmic truths which are literally like written they appear to people in almost like gold writing, gold Sanskrit writing. Um, and Swamiji was channeling this and sharing these truths as people were asking him questions about the process of life and death and birth. And he answered one question explaining how there's actually seven different ways to die. And, but how we go about the death process is directly tied to our beliefs about death. Um, so either we can stop ourselves from evolving we can even trap ourselves in the body. That is why beings like what we understand as ghosts, 
um, actually come into fruition because they're beings which got stuck so much in this body that even when their soul left, they were not able to leave this plane of existence. Um, but there's so much fascinating, so much fascinating understanding of death in Hinduism. One of which is that, um, which is a very beautiful understanding also, which makes me feel a lot of completion in this time of my life where I lost uh, such a close family member, is that 13 days after one leaves the body is about the time on earth, or the earthly calculation of rebirth. So literally 13 days after you die, you're about to take the next body. So it's so beautiful for me uh, at this time, as I feel that, that still that pain and that loss of my grandmother, but knowing that she's going to be around me and I know she's going to come back and reincarnate um, surely close by to me, if not directly evolved in my life and in her next body, um, I'm just, I'm, I really feel so at peace and so excited for her soul's evolution. Um, and. I know that it's just going to be the next phase of her journey and it's just such a beautiful understanding to have because when I was a child I actually lost my grandpa who I was really close to, my papa, on my dad's side of the family and that was a very traumatic and painful experience for me which I held a lot of pain for, for many 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 years so to experience this now as I have these more powerful cognitions and deeper understandings about the process of life and rebirth specifically has really awakened so much of a peace and powerfulness in me knowing that um, that death is extremely beautiful gift and it's only a transition it's like um, in in the Hindu understanding the Vedic understanding of death is that it's like you don't even have a second thought it's like as if you were how you wear different clothes every day you change your shirt and put on a new one that exact same understanding that um, that lightness is understood about death that we whenever this body stops serving us we decide to take that next body and that is only the process of rebirth because see on our on our spiritual journey our mind actually doesn't play a big part in it but our body our physiology has a huge role in what we're able to experience the higher states of consciousness the enlightenment we're able to reach if our body has gotten to a point where it's so beaten up, it's so damaged by the environment or toxins or what we've put into it, by it's so riddled with disease or disorders, it gets to a point where there is no there is nowhere we can go. Our consciousness can't expand in that body anymore. So naturally, we shed that sleeve and we take the next sleeve. We take the next. Uh, we take the next body. We take the next birth. Um, and I've had some really amazing personal experiences the last few days as I've been contemplating on. On this process of rebirth and some realizations about some of my past lives actually which has been um, really beautiful connection uh, my brother and I have had too many different crazy uh, I don't even want to use the word coincidences happening the last few days he's actually um, currently in Seattle and I'm here in India um, but yesterday itself I got a past life reading and it was shared with me that I was a Rishi in my past life um, which I've also gotten glimpses of through my third eye I was I was resonating with that strongly and so everything that she was saying when she was giving me the reading was extremely accurate and this morning a few hours later my brother messages me saying that it's getting it was getting downloaded to him that he was a rishi or a sage in his um, past life and that he had one father who was a sapta rishi which is almost like a grand rishi uh, in in the vedic civilization and i i messaged him back last night I got a reading that I was a Rishi and it was just so many things lining up and anyway we had this really beautiful conversation um, about this whole process and happening and all these revelations that have been happening for us um, as we've been getting messages from the divine from the source from Swamiji our guru and everything so man it's been a really crazy process and really a lot of growth has been happening for me the last few days but one thing I noticed which is really fascinating for me is Throughout all this, whatever emotions and different feelings, it's like when death happens around you, it creates so much of a shift in perspective, uh, but also in your space. I realized, I was trying to identify, like try to find words for what was happening in, to me. Because right, I'm feeling all these feelings and I'm going through different emotions, but it was like I was almost the observer of all that happening. And then I noticed one thing. I was thinking, what is this feeling that I've been experiencing the last two days or so? And it was that my breathing was different. I finally identified it. It was like 
and it still actually is my breathing was so slow so deep there was actually so much of a of a stillness inside me the last few days ever since I heard about her passing that anything happening around me whether you know it's chaotic or loud or crazy or happy or sad whatever is happening around me nothing is affecting that that space I'm holding right now nothing has affected my breath it's like I'm constantly in this um, if you've ever done meditation or yoga or pranayama that like very deeply and slow breath which is the ultimate breath you want to achieve through spiritual practice through meditation through yoga I, that has just been in me for the last few days and I was thinking wow I wonder how this is all connected why that space has opened up in me as and I really think it's because I've been realizing a lot of the spiritual truths and so it's it's giving me that experience of that that oneness that stability that peace of that cosmic understanding of the whole thing happening and that there is no good or bad or right or wrong and even in the painful and joyful times of our life to witness the the paradox of life is actually so beautiful because what would life be without death it would it would literally have no meaning life wouldn't couldn't even exist and it comes back to the whole purpose of why life even exists in the form it does the one becoming many we took birth at, when we were that cosmic consciousness that wholeness that oneness we decided to take form for only one reason that was to experience ourself only to feel the joy of experiencing ourselves as the many because when we're one it's like this right light can't exist without darkness darkness cannot exist without light because there's no comparison right there's nothing to even put it in perspective so therefore it has no existence the same way life couldn't exist without death so with that understanding, I really had this powerful shift realizing that it is truly such a beautiful process. It's such a gift um, and all of our pain or our limited understandings about it, um, it only brings us unnecessary suffering and it actually limits the souls who left the journey. That's one thing I want to sh I'll end with is that Swamiji and my guru, has, he shared so many times that actually when we grieve for somebody who's dead in a very um, incomplete way means we're really attached to them we're not letting them go we're, you know we're like so so depressed so upset we're really clinging on to that soul it actually prevents that soul's journey that's why even those type of beings who are held on very tightly by friends or family members or spouses they're ones which actually get trapped on this plane they are not able to evolve or take the next body so even with this higher understanding to know that we should be in that space of peace with it and know that that soul is having no difficulties only we're the ones that experience the pain from death they're they're completely liberated it's a liberation for their being so to know that to be at peace with that and to be joyful about that also that their journey is progressing is a really powerful cognition to come into um, and if any of you guys have experienced death in your life I would love to hear what it has been like for you and if you've had any of these kind of similar realizations throughout your spiritual journeys um, and even if you haven't and you're totally struggling with it I would love to connect with you and reach out and help that completion happen for you with it also because um, I feel it's really really important thing for all of us to come into uh, an understanding about a positive understanding about and uh, anyways I'll stop rambling I, I'm gonna make further videos about this uh, kind of diving in more of the truths which Swamiji has shared about death because there's too much to talk about in one video um, but if any of you guys have any questions definitely please reach out to me in my comments um, and I will love to connect with you guys um, and help you guys in any way if any of you guys are struggling with this topic also right now so thank you guys so much um, I hope you're having a beautiful beautiful day or night and I'll tune in with you guys soon